This Sunday, dozens of women, they'll compete for the crown and the title, Miss Universe. Joining us with a preview, we have Miss Universe 2013, Gabriela Isler, Miss USA, Nia Sanchez, and host Thomas Roberts. What's happening, gang? Hey, Seth, how are you? Hi. Tell us what everybody can expect at this pageant. <laughs> We have uh, just announced Gavin DeGraw, who is going to be performing. We have Prince Royce, who's going to be performing. And we also have Nick Jonas, who we love around here, who is going to be performing as well. So quite a, a, a loaded show for entertainment, but also 88 brilliant and beautiful women from all over the globe that have descended here on Doral in Miami uh, to prepare for this. And they just had preliminary competitions the other night. Last uh, night. Last night, mm -hmm. yes. And you're here OK to talk about yep, it? Yep, I didn't fall, no yeah. tripping. It, it went well. All right, because yeah. we are all for Miss USA, kind of our favorite, if you know what I mean, <laughs> Seth. Uh, <laughs> kind of our favorite around the shop here. Uh, but it's going to be a fantastic show, so we encourage you to tune in, and obviously we love the work that Gabriella Eastler has done and the representation that she has done uh, as the current Miss Universe. But Sunday night, there is going to be a new young lady that like takes that. that over. Yes. yes. What's the build-up like, and what's the camaraderie like? Because it's not one of these events that on Sunday, you know, everybody just drives their cars in and shows up and executes. What's it like, the build-up to an event right. as big as this? It's a three-week process, so we've been in Doral for three weeks. We've been doing media. We have been preparing, getting our costumes ready, and getting all the dresses and swimwear and everything ready to go. And all the girls here are actually really nice. I was kind of warned, like, be careful. Sometimes girls can be catty, just all, like all the stories that you hear. But every single person that I've met has been amazing this year, so I'm having a lot of fun. Now, Gabriella, you had an amazing year. I mean, you've had an amazing life, but in this last year, you've gotten to do so much that, that you might not have thought you could before. What have been some of the highlights of your reign as Miss Universe? Well, first of all, I, I am the longest Miss Universe ever. I have 14 months. That is, I think, one of the highlights of my reign. <laughs> um, so I have enough time to do a lot. I visit more than 16 countries. I, I'm a blessed, I'm a lucky girl. I have to meet not just the luxury and the, the best of every country, but I, have, I also did a lot of charity activities, a lot of, I was involved in a, a, a lot of humanitarian efforts. So this is what I love. And I did with all my heart, I think I did my best to represent my country, Venezuela. Even the situation, I think one of the highlights is bring happiness, joy, and good news to my country, Venezuela. And for my humanitarian job, I was recognized for the Pope with a bless, for the Pope Francis. Wow. So that's more that was expected. I mean, spiritual, emotional, and was not in my bucket list. I mean, it was, but it was like, difficult to reach out. So this is my best highlight during the year. Just the blast of the Pope was the best. What an amazing opportunity. And I'm wondering what's in the water in Venezuela, because in the last six years, three Miss Universes <laughs> have been from Venezuela. I don't get it. I, I Bring me a bottle of water or something. Mm, <laughs> well, we can bring you a bottle of water to see if it works with you. But um, I think it's because we train it. I mean, we have a year maybe to train in for Miss Universe for Compete. We have everything. Oratory, hair, makeup, runway, uh, body language, uh, acting classes. We have a pensum. It's a kind of like university for us. And plus that, Venezuela had the biggest record in beauty pageant title holders. So you want to represent the country well, and you know that you have to do it better. So it's like, Take you know, it's a commitment with your country, <laughs> and we have to do it good. So. Now, I think it's that. One thing, Seth, to point out uh, that's really important that I think uh, Gabriella needs to be commended for is the fact that during the actual telecast of Miss Universe in 2013, November of 2013, there was a typhoon that was hitting the Philippines. And because of that, uh, the Miss Universe organization and through Gabriella's work, uh, over the last 14 months, they spearheaded a brand new charity uh, to go into the Philippines to help those that were ravaged by this typhoon that killed over 6,000 people. Uh, so I don't think that's something that Gabriella gets commended enough for. She talks about her travel and the ambassadorship that she's been as Miss Universe, but the hard work that she's dedicated to a brand new charity for the Philippines, it's which has been fantastic. Yes. Wow. Yes, it's true. Um, it, it's amazing yes. all the work that you do in the community. Unfortunately, we're out of time. And Nia, I want to mention too, a uh, fabulous lady. She, you do Taekwondo, is that right? What's harder, walking in heels on a runway or doing uh, Taekwondo in which you're a fourth degree black belt? 
Uh, I think both are very difficult, but I'm going to have to go with the heels. It's just a little bit harder than Taekwondo. I've done Taekwondo for 12 years straight now and 4-3 black belt certified instructor, but I'm the looking, heels, I'm, I'm, looking still, right now. Yes. I'm still working on the heels yeah. sometimes. I, I <laughs> couldn't do either, so I commend you. My wife and I, we're going to pop some popcorn, and we are going to sit down this Sunday. Thank you Please. so much for joining us, and don't forget, everybody at Thanks, home. Seth. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You can catch all the action this Sunday, January 25th, 8 p.m., right here. You know where to go. 22 News.